Whoa. Boston Marathon Day. It's here. Oh, man. Uh, best of luck to all the runners out in Boston. Okay, I'm off to, uh, we're going to talk about the elite fields here in a second, but I am off to run with my brother. Got to eat a bagel before going, drink a little more coffee, if you know what I mean. Oh, man, I can't wait. Oh, yeah, we're doing a live stream, uh, 7.30 a.m. Mountain Time, watching the Boston Marathon live. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay, how do I open the door? Well, I didn't quite remember this, but I guess you get about 10 seconds a mile yeah. from Denver to sea level. I, did, I looked it up last night, actually. I think Mark used to say eight seconds is what he calculated. I didn't think it was that much for just any mile, yeah. like one mile all out. Like you would get, uh, you get like, yeah, you get 10 seconds a mile. Yeah. So like if you could run 9.05 in Arcadia, it would be like 9.25 here, yep. you know, approximately or whatever. Oh man, I know it's gonna be June yeah. this year, yeah. like mid to late June. Yeah. All right, wrapping up 10 miles with Joseph. Good, nice. Good Sunday 10. Yeah. Cruising. Yeah. Sunday 10. You got the structures on? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Try it and true. <laughs> I'm in the turbos today. Yeah, nice sun's out. Nice. We're gonna go see if Tiger pulled off the win in the Masters. Yeah, that's <laughs> hey, that's a good Throwback, run. right? Real, that's oh, part, real good. A little lower elevation. Oh. <laughs> High pop. Bridget loves me a lot. She loves me a lot. She lets me clean my dirty running shoes in the kitchen sink. Oh my goodness, thank you, true love. It's, it's kind of serious right now. It's kind of serious. The Terra Tigers and the wild horses got a little muddy the other day. We're gonna, we're gonna get to the Boston Marathon in one second. Well, hang tight, I don't know about you, every Sunday afternoon, I just dump out my running bag and get organized. Like all the gear gets jumbled throughout the week, so that's what I'm doing right now, just getting organized. All right, Boston Marathon elite discussion coming right up. Thanks for bearing with me <laughs> through, the, through the, the life's necessities, if you will. Here we go, Boston Marathon morning. There we go, Boston Marathon, it's here finally. And I've heard that the weather is supposed to be better than expected. It was not looking so good a couple days ago, but supposedly it's turning slightly to the better. So this is good news for all the runners out there. And shout out to Mike and Running Otaku and I think Chris. Um, anyway, there's some viewers of this daily vlog who are going to be able to come back and tell us stories of how the marathon went for them who are racing this morning. So it's so exciting. Uh, and a shout out to my buddy Christian, who I'm going to interview live in a couple weeks. He's in the elite field uh, for the Boston Marathon, so he's fast. So I'm excited to break down his race as well with you in a couple weeks here in the studio. And speaking of the studio, this morning, 7.30 a.m. Mountain Time. So the elite field starts at 9... The elite women start at 9.30 
a.m. Eastern time on the East Coast. So we're going to go live. If I'm a couple li minutes late, it just means I'm grabbing my coffee inside the house and zipping out here to the studio. Basically, I'm going to have my screen in here. I'm going to be watching live, breaking down the race, breaking down what I'm seeing in the elites, uh, at the women and the men. The, the men start at 10 a.m. And then uh, we'll go from there. We're just going to have a good time here in the studio talking about running and marathon training. And uh, it will be a very long live stream, but um, it's just going to be fun. So if you need to come back and, and zip out and come back and whatever, uh, don't hesitate to come back this morning if you're watching this on Monday morning. So, And, of course, you'll be able to watch the rerun after it publishes. So, all right, here we go. Let's break down the elite fields. Let's start with the ladies first. So the fastest lady toe in the line in Hopkinton will be... <laughs> I'm going to do my best with all these names, okay? Asalfesh Mergia of Ethiopia with a 219.31, which she ran back in Dubai in 2012. So a while ago, so seven years ago. So anyway, she is the fastest lady towing the line for the women. And then of course, Des Linden, that's right, last year's Boston Marathon champion in the crazy weather. She is back returning for the Americans. The first woman, uh, lady American to win uh, in, oh, I think it was, was it 20 or 30? It was 30 years, it was a long time. So Des, shout out to you. It's gonna be exciting to see how, like, I hate to say it, but the target's kind of on your back now. Like, people are going to be watching you now, so you're going to do great. It's going to be fun to watch you. Okay, Jordan Hesse, the former uh, high school standout and Oregon Ducks. She ran for the Ducks, and she is she placed third at the Boston Marathon in 2017. I'm guessing she has some unfinished business in Boston this year. I believe, she, yeah, she ran the fastest American debut marathon ever with a 223. I believe it, yeah, I believe it was in Boston. Yeah, it was in Boston 2017. So I have a feeling, watch out for Jordan Hesse. She's got blonde hair, a little shorter, but she is fast. Jordan, I'm short too, so nothing against short people, right? Hands out. And another American toe in the line is Sarah Hall, who's married to Ryan Hall, so that's exciting to see her there. Uh, kind of following up in her husband's footsteps there in Boston. Uh, and then, pretty cool, Sally Kipiego, who raced for Texas Tech, the Texas Tech Raiders. I used to watch her battle my old teammate at CU, Jenny Simpson, who's an Olympian. They battled big time in college. Uh, she, yeah, cross country and track. So Sally Kipiego is now an, a U.S. citizen. So this is her first marathon as a U.S. citizen. So that's pretty cool. She's originally from Kenya and uh, she will be towing the line in Boston. And then another one. Oh yeah. So Edna Kiplagat is, uh, is a sub 220 marathon for the ladies. She and four others are also sub 220. So we're talking a pretty stacked field on the women's side towing the line in Boston. So watch out for Edna Kiplagat as well. I'm four ladies under five ladies under 220 is solid. It's going to be fun. So anyway, they start at 9:32 a.m. Eastern time and I'm hoping I will be awake and you're going to see my tired eyes in the morning uh, if you're here live watching uh, as the ladies get going. And let's break it down the men's elite field. Here we go. The fastest male going into the race is from Kenya. Watch out for Lawrence Chirono of Kenya. Why? He set this PR just last year in Amsterdam. 20406. Pretty smoking. Good work, Lawrence Chirono of Kenya. So, followed up with the fan favorite. That's right, last year's Boston Marathon champion uh, from Japan, Yuki Kawauchi, returns, who pulled out the win in 2018. Uh, in the wind and the rain, and he just, this is so cool, just in January, so three months ago, he just turned pro, so now he was working a full-time job last year, so now he's dedicated all of his, his time to training, so that is going to be really cool to watch, to see if he is progressing with his fitness and his overall ability to tow it with these elites, so Yuki Kawauchi from Japan is back, and then yes, Abdi is back, oh, good old Abdi, he's just like a, a fun, loving guy. He trains in, uh, I believe he lives in, uh, oh gosh, he lives in Arizona, but anyway, he trains Sedona, near Sedona. Anyway, Abdi, shout out to Abdi. I've actually met him before. He's a great guy. And then moving on from Abdi to a CU, that's right, a University of Colorado alum, close to my heart, Dathan Rittenhine. 
I believe he left CU two years before I got there, so I never got to race and train with him. Uh, but he's an Olympian, and he owns a 207 47 PR in the marathon, which he set in Chicago in 2012. So it's been a while, but now he's living back in Michigan. Um, I believe he's a coach now at the division. I want to say division three level. I'll have to double check that. And he now runs for Brooks. So he's not running for Nike any anymore. This is going to be fascinating to see. Like, what is he, how has his training been going? I'm just so excited to see some of these older guys. I kind of wish, frankly, that Ryan Hall would, like, reemerge. I know he's, like, this big, strong, like, weightlifter guy. But, yeah, anyway, it's just cool to see some older guys not give up on their dreams and racing fast. So, shout out to Dathan. Go Buffs. And it's going to be exciting to see what he can do. Okay, Jared Ward, a 2016 Olympian for the United States, returns and he has a PR of 211.30, which he set at the Olympics in Brazil in 2016. Uh, I'm, yeah, it's just gonna be cool to see what Jared can do. Uh, and then moving on, okay, here we go, last one. Lalisa de Sisa, oh, I'm not saying that right, but he was part of the Breaking 2 project with Nike where they tried to send a runner under two hours for the marathon uh, with Kipchoge, and so he is back, he won New York City last fall, so he's, you know, he's got to be feeling pretty confident, so that's exciting for him, and then he has won Boston twice, once in 2013, and then also in 2015, so he's back, Lalisa uh, De Sisa, and uh, just exciting, and don't count out, that's right, don't count out Jeffrey Kairui of Kenya, who won it in 2017, all right, keyword. Boston. That's right. Keyword is Boston. And that question of the day. Here we go. Pick your winners, men and women. Who's going to win for the women? Who's going to win for the men? Pick your winners. Let us know down below. If you want to throw out some predicting times, that's cool too. And, uh, and also part two for question of the day. Do you have like serious aspirations to run the Boston Marathon. Like you really, like it's a dream for you to run Boston. Let us know down in the comments. That'd be amazing. All right, I think that's it. I gotta set up the studio for the live stream in the morning. So again, if you're watching this vlog, as soon as it publishes, we are gonna be going live at 7.30 a.m. Mountain Time. Just stop by. If you can't come for the whole time, just stop by for a little bit. It's gonna be a good time here in the studio. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Let's go, let's go, Boston Marathon, woo!